Whoa, what in the world was that? Ta-da! Slicky to the rescue! Guess you just can't finish your job without me, eh, Maylee? Slick? You're still alive? Well, geez, you don't gotta sound overjoyed or anything. You'd think I'd at least get a big wet kiss or something, but knowing you, I guess it's not in the cards, eh, Maylee? You got that right, loser. Oh, well, we're still pals, so I'll help you out of this mess. Stand back. This could get messy. Oh, no! Not another bomb! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! I got a little carried away once those bombs started popping. What? what is this? What else? You did another stupid thing, and now we're in big trouble. The seal! I came here to look for the seal! Understand? Stand back, Mail. I'll protect you. All right, guys. You know the routine. Hands against the wall and spread them. Shut up, Slick. I'm the Chief Dwarf here. What do you want to know? Well, you can start by telling me what these massive metal alien thingies are made of. Then I'd like to know where you managed to find your clothes. Is there a short and squatty store around here somewhere? Or do you go in for the tailored thing? Come to think of it, why don't you tell me that first? I'd really like to know. Will you shut up? Let me handle this. Actually, we were most interested in the black seal. The seal? Oh, ha, 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 the seal. I made that a long time ago. I was but a boy. It was such a very long time ago. Hello? Hello? Oh, brother. Are you awake? Well, of course I'm awake. I was, uh, lost in deep thought. I do that sometimes. Now then, you want to know about the seal? Slick, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> it's Mithril! Did you hear me? Mithril, I say! We're gonna be rich! <laughs> Robin Leach will be banging down my door! I can't wait! <laughs> Good. Maybe that'll keep him out of my hair. this way. That's easy for you to say. How am I supposed to get up there? I don't use magic. Oh, ho, ho, ho. it's actually quite safe. Just imagine there are stairs. Cool. It's an invisible stairway. Ah, it will always be here, as long as you believe. Behold, the Great Wall of Shikra stands before you. Yes. Let me interpret. Here is an age-old depiction of heaven. You can see those who rebelled against goodness and light. 
These evil ones would stop at nothing to destroy all that is good. But they were stopped, for the defenders of heaven were legion. This wall is a pictorial account of that battle. It ends at the point where I created the seal. It was a dark time, and many souls were lost. In fact, one still remains in this very place. His name is Sven. Sven T. Uncommon. Once, he fought for good. Now, he fights for the Overlord. Well, actually, I've already taken care of that pompous jerk. <laughs> you, you mean to say that you defeated Sven? That muscle-bound dweeb was all talk. He's history now. Ah, uh, you see, Sven is like a shadow. When at last you think he is gone, he will once again reappear. <laughs> Thank you for leading me right to the old man, Bulimia Blade. Sven, how did you... Oh, Mumbles, have I scared the tired and flabby old dwarf man? Heretic, do not waggle your blasphemous tongue. You have defiled this temple with your presence. Sven, you chrome-plated creep! You tricked me into leading you here! You are so smart that you almost make me want to be afraid, spindly limbs! The old man knows too much about our secret plans. I have wanted to crush his feeble head for so long, but his seal was in my way. Now that you have so kindly let me in, my fantasy is about to come true. Snake! Coward! Oh, sticks and stones may break my bones, but you will never have the chance. So long, little small fly. Wait! Mumbles! This is just great. I finally catch up to him and he gets kidnapped. Oh, if he gets killed, I'll never learn the secret of the seal. Listen to me now and believe me later. I did not think you were so tiny brain that you would try to follow me. It's time to teach you a lesson in pounding Papa Tood. Welcome to your nightmare. All brawn and no brain. Your words don't scare me. I'll finish you this time. <laughs> oh my, what a happy little party. My invitation must have been lost in the mail. But no matter, now that I'm here, Master Sven, may I have the honor of finishing off this little annoyance? Venencio, you should feel ashamed to be in the same room with this trash! Shame on you! Aw, you're not really in a position to be scolding anyone, now are you? Master Sven has promised to reward me well for my total loyalty, and I intend to give it to him. Oh, when he gets so mushy, it makes my biceps quiver with total joy. But now I have no use for him. It's so sad. I would cry, but then I would have to eat quiche. Total betrayal! 
I prefer to call it spring cleaning. Did you really think that I would team up with your puny baby army? Goodbye, my broken pet. <laughs> Mithril Guardian, hear my plea. Help me with your awesome power. Venencio, just tell me why. <laughs> The magic must be gone now. Oh, I just wanted to create a utopian society, but I needed the power to make it happen. Now I see that good can never come from evil, nor right from wrong. <laughs> I must pay the ultimate price for my foolishness. Jump, Venancio! Goodbye, warrior. Maybe your way is the answer. Never give up. I'm in the mood to show off my totally toned biceps, bud. Prepare for a pounding. Don't be so sure of that simple kiddie plan. The last time we fought was only playtime for my perfect pompatude. This time it's for real.